Hi everyone, Ian from DIY Home and Gardening. So, well, that's a pigeon. Uh, part two of um, pruning the hedge, basically. So, uh, let me turn the camera around and I'll show you next stages. So, about two and a half weeks ago, did the facing up, which is cutting the sides of the hedge. Um, and what uh, what a lot of people don't really realise is that actually in order to grow plants or a hedge quicker, if you tidy the sides up, you encourage upwards growth. Um, and then vice versa, if you take the top out, that actually it encourages it to push out. So yeah, one by taking the doing the sides first, then uh, it makes it easier to be able to reach across the top of it because obviously you're not so far out. Um, but um, it uh, encourages a bit of top growth, and then once we uh, get the top sorted out, then the uh, subsequent growth will all go into the side element if you like which will then allow the hedge to infill those little gaps that you create so first things first um, is to work out your height and let me try and zoom in there so what I did a few years back was I screwed that uh, section of timber just onto the shed um, very top there see there is the remnants of some string which uh, I'll reinstate some more of that and what I do is I literally run a string line from that point there over to roughly there on the tree um, <laughs> I get a little bit uh, OCD about it so I, I do end up putting a the spirit level on it just to get a rough height and so um, yeah that's what I do now is just get the string line up. Just a touch of OCD by putting a spirit level on the string gets it nice and level. Right so I don't know if you can see hopefully you can string line set up and run out the extension lead so you want to make sure you run out the extension lead to full length that way it's not going to overheat when you start using it obviously um, for this I'm um, again using the electric uh, hedge cutter uh, before you use any of the power tools or especially if it's a cable one just make sure there's no damage to the cable um, and when you start obviously you want to make sure that you have the cable tucked out the way so once again pair of gloves, um, ear defenders and start at one end whichever end you want to choose. Uh, I always start at this right hand side uh, just because that's where the tree is and then I can then kind of work my way across uh, from the right over to left hand side. So uh, yeah, let's get cracking. So it begins. So, uh, yeah, depending on which um, hedge cutter you're using, depends obviously how you uh, start and finish. Mine, uh, safety, well, the safety devices, you have to be pulling both handles in before it kicks off anyway. So, uh, yeah, just work your way along and uh, see you soon. 
okay, so got the front section of the heads done. Um, the reach is a little bit beyond me for the little electric. And it's also starting to rain, so never a good idea to mix electrics with rain. So, uh, yeah, got the Ryobi uh, petrol unit with uh, head cutter attachment. So I'll get the rest of that finished. So a little tip, just use a leaf rake or your grass lawn rake to help uh, rake off any loose bits of the hedge top. As it's away, as soon as I uh, finish, the uh, sun comes out. But anyway, um, it's all cut as far as possible. You can see over the top a few little tufts that literally just can't reach. So I think I'll probably have to um, go from the other side and just tidy that lot up but that's uh, all the top done you see that final corner there hopefully by next year that will be up to height and um, yeah have a nice square top but for the time being that's how to prune your hedge step two well excuse the slightly sweaty mess but uh, like I say the, uh, the rain cleared sun came out and that with a bit of hard work gives this look but um, anyway hope you found the video of use uh, any questions send them over to me and I'll do my best to uh, reply with uh, some helpful advice for you um, keep subscribing if you like what I'm doing don't forget to hit that reminder button so you don't miss out on the future videos and uh, yeah just get out in the garden have some fun and uh, get those jobs done but uh, see you soon. Bye for now.